I like the title of this episode with it being called Respect because I gained a lot of respect for a lot of characters last episode and hopefully we're ending on a positive note and no more depression can be hitting us anytime soon. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Tokyo Revengers. Last episode, we had Takemichi versus Kiyomasa trying to save Draken. It worked out pretty okay. I mean, we got stabbed, but then we almost got jumped by his boys afterwards. But then our boys came in and saved the day. And then they got kind of beat up, but then the ambulance kind of came in to save the day. So hopefully we're ending on a positive note. I really have no idea what's gonna happen with the show. I know with this whole event, because this is supposedly not any like anything near as to what happened in the past 12 years. So maybe the butterfly effects are gonna be crazy. I, like I said, I have no idea what to expect. I am excited, so I'm not gonna waste any more time. I say we jump right on into it. Remember though, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon is not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment down below. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter. All at Dapper Darius. I appreciate y'all. Let's hop into this. Tokyo Revengers, episode 11, Respect. And yeah, what are you gonna do? What's up? Keep that big energy. We're still ready to keep going. Yeah. Oh, I saw it. You were out there super miracle punching. <laughs> Hanma's the only Mobius member up. Okay. So a new biker gang alliance is being called Valhalla? Oh no, that does not sound good at all. Valhalla is where you go when you're a viking who dies in battle. <laughs> Which I don't want any of our guys to die in battle. There's no way he's flatlining. There's no way after all that I'm still going to be heartbroken. There are people who go under cardiac arrest that can be brought back. You know, give an EKG, whatever needs to be done, stab him full of gamma radiation, turn him into Draken Hulk. I don't. I mean, we can never know what would have happened anyway because of Kiyomasa was different from Pei, but Pei has to feel guilty to this, at least, you know. Mikey's pulling up to the hospital. What's he gonna think? Him and Draken are the closest. Not wrong. Wow, this is probably the most calm, cool, collected I've seen Mikey in a long time. Mikey. Knowing the future, though, makes me still a little worried, but... He's keeping a positive outlook, which you love to see. It's definitely needed at a time like this. Fully agree. Bro, I feel like this is like my actual family member. Like, I'm actually like nervous as heck <laughs> waiting for this news. Oh my lord. Thank the lord. This has been great. <laughs> yeah, I bet you Pei does feel guilty. Not wrong. 
They can't make me like Draken anymore. Like this is my, this is my dude right here. I love how understanding they are. Like they get what you were doing was for good intentions. You wanted to help your friend, but they also understand where you went wrong and are willing to move past it too. These guys are some real ones. I want to be a part of the Manji gang, bro. I want to join these guys. I'm so happy, and I definitely agree on being happy with him, but anytime I feel like Takamichi is congratulatory or he's happy, it's going to all go horribly wrong. Yeah, I was saying they're the closest, man. Mikey, I'm, that's why I was surprised at how strong he was in that hospital. He put on a brave face, and that's what definitely was needed. All right, let's get some happiness injected. August 10th, almost a week later. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is he dressing like that? I know. <laughs> this is exactly the levity I needed, though, after all that depression. <laughs> I want one. I need my own fit. That's Mikey's from when he first formed Toman. Okay. Definitely did. Single handedly. Hell yeah. Shouts out my boys, man. Aww. <sighs> we still don't know the full mastermind, the whole this, how this alliance is coming, you know? I mean, we know Mikey knew a little bit more about Takamichi from the jump. He said, are you really in whatever grade they said? Because everyone, you know, he acts way more mature, way more broad and minded than he should at his age. So it's, it's a fair question. Okay, and then we're back to normal, Mikey. I'm down. We're gonna go see Naoto. It's been a few. It's been a few episodes since we had a, a jump to the future. I am curious to see what Naoto says. How shit has changed? Oh my god, this is actually gonna be super crazy important. I'm not ready for this. I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, that's a cute gift. I just watched an episode with you know who popped off on Black Clover. Speaking of four leaf clovers, oh, he thinks it's over. He thinks now that he saved Draken, he's going to the future and he's done. Done. Oh, sir, we have like 10 more episodes in the show, sir. You're definitely coming back. I know he's always handshaking. <laughs> I know they already addressed this sort of um, in terms of when he goes to the future. Takamichi in the past goes back to old Takamichi in the past. How he's like more arrogant, more young Takamichi, which makes sense. Not the life experience that we have. But I'm curious if when he does shake Naoto's hand right here and he goes to the future, because we know future him is comatose as of right now. Is it going to be like a flip? Is 
is past Takamichi gonna know have like an autopilot of what's going on and just keep on going with it especially now that things have changed and it's not you know i'm i'm curious about some of those little details but i wonder that'll probably be somewhat answered when we come back to the past and uh, hinata is like why are you now different again i'm i'm curious though it's gonna be just literally just like a, f a flip that switches but he thinks he's going to the future for good so he thinks he's done Kisaki Teta. And he doesn't. Okay. Uh, this was from like. This is from episode one. Yeah, he got fired weeks ago. Wait. Yeah, he should have gotten taken back to Naoto in... He still has the scar from when he got stabbed. So that's proof that it was real, which we know it was real. We're the audience, but... Salon? Akun? We know Akun wanted to be a hairstylist. Damn. Looks older. I know. It just it looks so dope. <laughs> He's just crying at the window. I'm so confused. Okay. Okay. So things have drastically changed. Hey, shouts out you, Akun. If you made that promise, I would be your first customer. That's my dog. Our crybaby hero, Takamichi. I love that nickname for him. He's kind of like Deku to me. I love Takamichi, I love Deku. That's Naoto, okay. Right? So... It's running parallel, but with active changes. So because because everything succeeded in the past and Draken is still alive and nothing happened with the bad Toman game, Kisaki Ted, all that, because of that, and because Hinata never died, Akun never pushed him onto the train tracks, which means he never met Na Naoto, even though Naoto has the present memories of everything that happened, just like Takamichi does, their number got deleted from their phone because in this world they never met, even though, you know, they have, but it's like, this is super interesting. This is okay. And he still has his job at the... Yes, oh, we can go see adult Hinata? I mean, yeah, she didn't die. Is everything... A that episode went so quick, but is everything actually going to work out? Like, positively? Well, that was a plot twist episode. I will say, I did watch like the first 30 seconds of the ending, just because I like grooving out to that song. It is a banger of a song. And I noticed that older Hinata still does have that four-leaf clover. I never really noticed that previously. Now I know that she has that gifted from Takamichi. I'm curious, are we gonna be able to see time skip uh, Draken, time skip Mikey? Are we gonna be able to see them now? Time skip um, Hinata? I'm curious though, because of the butterfly effect, we were able to accomplish our main mission, which is saving Akun, saving Draken, saving Hinata, but we still diverged off from where we I thought we were gonna go. And we still ended up having a very similar life to what we did back then. Still works at the Blockbuster. Still has the black hair, you know, like, stop dyeing his hair. Seems to be very shy and reserved, like, like you know, as current Takamichi is. But I would just have thought that with the changes and him now being accepted deep into Toman, you know, like, he would ride it out with the boys. Ah, I'm curious now what autopilot Takamichi did in the past. Now, I wish there was, like, a, a thing I could watch where it was both future and past talking oh this is so crazy but i'm definitely nervous and i definitely understand why mikey is questioning takamichi and also has this uneasy feeling because hanma i would be way more like ooh, let's this like let's say i was watching this live i didn't know there's more episodes i'm like okay we're about to get to the end of the show we actually did it but with hanma leaving it at the valhalla alliance with strong the most deadly biker gang in the kanto region 
I'm way more nervous because we he he's the vice commander. He's the draken of their squad. So who's their commander? Who's their higher ups? You know who? I have no idea. We had a fucking brawlic ass guy on a motorcycle saying, "Yo, let's go," and he's like, "Yep, got you." Like, like I don't know what's gonna happen, but. Uh. I am definitely curious. I was definitely emotional during the whole Draken Hospital situation. I'm most definitely with the boys. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm a member of the Manji gang. You know, like I was like so happy he survived. I want to go out there and you know fight with them. I'll beat Kiyomasa's ass. <sighs> so so far, good episode. I say that <laughs> because I know depression is going to be hitting here soon, and I'm excited. I do. I think I've been told that the show does not end at the end of this season. Like there is most definitely going to be later more stuff in the manga and definitely season two going to be confirmed, especially with how well this show has been doing and how well the manga has been selling. I am definitely looking forward to that. This is going to be interesting, though. I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, please leave a like. Actually, let me check, make sure there's no Q&A's on the Discord. If you guys don't know, we have a Q&A section. You can ask me anything you want. Um, nope, we look to be clear. Okay, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I appreciate you. Make sure to hit that bell, subscribe so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, at uh, Dapper Darius. And if you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes, check out that Patreon. Four episodes ahead and the full length for you guys. Other than that, tell someone you love them, drink some water, be safe. Appreciate y'all. Peace out, Dapper Squad.